what's up y'all welcome back y'all can see from the title this is another hair video today's video is featuring you nice and we're gonna get right into it yes i got the slick back you already know that so these are just a few things that you nice gave they gave a headband of course you need a ball cap no i take that back you do not always need a ball cap okay don't let anybody tell you you do then they gave us some press on nails baby love a good press on let's get into the wig it is a seven by five bye bye not so you know the lace finna bust so this wig is also a part of the pre everything collection that means the hair comes pre-styled the edges come pre-plucked the lace comes pre-bleached all right it's like and it's pre-cut so you don't even have to worry about trying to get the right amount of lace to stick down to your forehead and it's glueless so honestly you don't even have to lay it down get into that lace did you see it you didn't baby because the bye bye nights don't play bye bye nights is the most realistic scalp like type of lace i just i don't know the witchcraft in it but baby you need it i always say a wig install is better with a braid down however i just had taken my braid down out so we're gonna do the low bun the low bun does work I'm just showing y'all the inside of the wig. It comes with a comb and a few adjusters in there just in case it doesn't fit. It also comes with a band in case the wig is too small. Now, the low bun does work, but a braid down is just going to make it look extra seamless, very flat, okay? So, yeah, this is me just popping the wig on. It's just, honestly, it's as simple as that. If you want to do a few extras, then you can. But if you want to go, this will be perfect for you because all you really would have to do is pop it on and go. And maybe blend out the lace in the front, okay? Because you already know, before you leave the house with a wig on, you need to go step by your window and make sure the lace looks like scalp so that's what i'm about to do i'm about to take the residue off of my foundation brush and i'm just gonna lightly tap it into the lace on the side not too much you don't need a fresh brush or foundation okay trust me this right here is gonna be more than enough so now that i'm done with that i'm just gonna like you know try to get some of the pieces and flatten it out because it did kind of give like Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall in the back. So since my hot comb is broken, I'm going to take my hot, my hot iron, my straightener, my flat iron, and I'm going to get them humps. I'm going to try to just flatten it out because, girl, we ain't humping over here. I'm also going to hit the front, too, because I do like the push back look. And since the lace is so good on this wig, I want to push the hair back in the front so you can see the lace. Now, I'm not going to lay this down. However, I am going to put the, um, the wig band on it. Because I want to just put mousse on the edges just to give it that like super like wet push back look. Y'all will see what I'm talking about when I'm done. It's it's just so cute with a with a middle part. Okay, it eats every time. So I'm just taking some good old lot of body because you don't need to lay this down. A lot of body will do the trick. It'll give you that natural scalp look that you're looking for. So I'm just putting a lot of body on my edges. And then I'm gonna put my wig band if I could ever find it, y'all. I remember taking so long trying to find a <laughs> trying to find a U nice wig band because baby, I wasn't trying to use no other company. That, that's just very, very disrespectful. But no, um, so I did end up finding a band. And I, one thing I do want to recommend because I remember having to adjust this wig a lot of times. If you don't have a braid down, then definitely try to do the smallest bun possible because the wig fit my head perfectly when I have braids. It's the little hump in the back that makes it slide back. So try to do a braid down or at least get a wig grip to not have your wig slipping back okay this wig does not call for the ball cap method it will be very <laughs> unnecessary i was gonna say ridiculous unnecessary so i just did show y'all the length the length was 24 inches and you know on me that's that's a long boo i'm five one and a half i'm a big fine woman so if it hits my waist then you you don't got nothing to worry about especially if you want longer length okay now around about this time my daughter had came in she was like oh mommy i love your hair is that a wig i said no boo you see this girl right from my scalp don't try it don't try it you see her up in there hyping me up with her little fingers in the camera <laughs> Okay, so anyway, I'm just taking the front of my flat iron and I'm trying so hard not to burn my fingers. That's why I feel like the curls wasn't coming out right. But I eventually got it. I'm trying to do like a little curtain bang look, okay? So I'm just popping some curls in the front, you know, just to give it some extra body, some extra definite, F, uh, definition. Because when I did um, separate the curls, they did kind of fall. One thing I can say, another thing I can say is the hair does hold a curl. Y'all see my baby over there clapping and cheering. She said, oh, mommy, you did that. You ate that. You ate that up. I said, I and did. And I really did. It's like, come on. You know it's giving scalp. You can't even deny. You can't deny. Like, just the proof is in the pudding. So I am trying to bump the front because I did notice that 
um, I didn't put enough lot of body on that side. So I'm putting some more and I'm honestly, I'm just going to end up putting more lot of body on both sides just to lay it down how I wanted it to. And I'm going to keep it on for about 15 minutes, no longer than that, because it, this is glueless wig. Now, as far as shedding and texture and things like that, I did get a little bit of shedding, nothing too crazy because this is a body wave wig it, that's just been curled. And that type of hair should not shed. I don't know how many times I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it till y'all understand. Your wigs should not shed unless it's a kinkier texture, okay? Now, the fullness of the wig is amazing. It's nice and full. All the curls that pre-came in them, oh, uh, I love it. I love the wigs that you could just pop on and go. So, I did let the band sit for like 15 minutes. I'm about to take it off, but before I do, I'm going to bump the front with the band still on so it don't slip back. If you have a wig grip on or the ball cap method, then, you know, it shouldn't slip back. But look at that, baby. Look at them edges. Yeah, one thing I did just have to do, I had to hit it with my foundation brush again because the lot of body kind of like made the foundation slide off. But honestly, look at that. You cannot tell me this is not growing out of my scalp. I barely put any foundation on it or anything. Like, come on now. Yeah. Ate that up and had to pose for the thumbnail. Now I'm just about to show y'all how thick the wig is. Like, it's a real great density. Like I told y'all, the shedding is basically non-existent. The wig is a 10 out of 10, okay? This is not a game. It's not a joke. It's not a drill. If you are interested in this wig, then definitely head to the description. Thank you so much for staying to the end, and I'm going to see you in the next one. If you have any additional questions, leave it in the comments. Do not forget to like and subscribe also. Bye!